The movie starts with a family whose members are Ki Tech, his wife Chung Suk, daughter Ki Chung and son Ki Wu. They have been living in a small basement. They have to struggle hard to meet their ends. Because their financial condition was very poor. They used to make the pizza boxes, in order to run their house. But this job was not enough to fulfill the expenses of the house. One day Ki Wu's university friend visits his house. He gives a stone to Ki Wu and says that his grandfather has sent for him. That stone was regarded as very special. And it was thought that the possessor of this stone gains happiness and his fate begins to shine. Ki Wu shares his poor financial condition with his friend. His friend tells him that he is leaving abroad for his studies. His friend says you can teach English to that girl whom I used to educate. On it, Ki Wu says, I am not college going so they will not hire me. Then his friend says, I will recommend you and ask your sister to make a fake degree. Ki Wu's sister is a graphic designer, so she easily makes a fake degree for him. Then Ki Wu goes to that place, where he has to give his service. That house looks very big and beautiful. That family is very rich and they are named, the Park family. Spouse, wife and their two kids comprise this family. The daughter's name is De Hei, she comes under Ki Wu's tutorship. There a maid is also seen, who has been working for a long time. He gives a demo class to her and De Hei's mother also sits with her daughter. Satisfied by Ki Wu's knowledge, she hires him. Then Ki Wu knows that her younger brother De Song is fond of painting. They hired many teachers for him but no one continued. Ki Wu thinks that his sister is artistic, so I can suggest she be that boy's art teacher. While talking to De Song's mother, he says that his cousin is artistic, so I recommend you to hire her. Hearing it, De Song's mother agrees. And Ki Wu introduces her sister as a girl named Jessica. The real name is hidden so that no one may doubt to detect their bloodline. Ki Chung disguising herself as Jessica and becomes the art teacher of that child. Impressing them, she also tells that, I am an art therapist. Now, these both brother and sisters perform their job as being teachers of that brother and sister. As Jessica takes her first class, then the owner of this house Canafoam also reaches there. He asks his driver to drop Jessica at her house. Driver goes to drop Jessica because it is too late. Jessica says to the driver, you can drop me at metro station. And the driver drops her there. Sitting in a car, Jessica drops her panties deliberately in the car, so that her owner may doubt the driver's character. When the owner finds the panties in the car, he doubts that their driver has an affair with their son's art teacher. Later he shares it with his wife. Then his wife asks Jessica where was she dropped off that night by the driver. On it she says, I got off at metro station instead of my house. On hearing this, owner of the house gets satisfied and says her to leave. And after that, they fire their driver. Jessica does this act to replace the driver with her father. Then she recommends to them that my father's brother driver is an expert, so you can hire them. Then she introduces her father calling him father's brother driver. Her father also gets a job. In this way, three of them, father, brother and sister perform their jobs there. They work as unknown persons, so that their owners may not suspect them. Then we realize that Ki Wu and De Hei begin to like each other during coaching classes. Now Ki Wu and Ki Chung, also want a job for their mother in that house. And for this purpose, they have to discharge the maid from the duties of this house. But it was not so easy. So they arrive at a plan. Many people have an allergy to peach fuzz. So they do the same and pour the peach fuzz on the maid when she is playing with the dog, creating her allergic. And she goes to the hospital. Ki Wu's father also arrives there when she is there. He selfies and also captures her photo in it. Then he takes the house owner for shopping and tells her that, he had seen the housemaid in the hospital. While selfing, she was also captured in the photo. I have heard from her reluctantly, that she is suffering from tuberculosis. But his lady owner does not trust him. Then he sends a message to Ki Chung that we are reaching the home within three minutes. Receiving the message, Ki Chung again pours the peach fuzz on the maid. And the maid starts coughing. Meanwhile, the lady owner reaches home. 
that maid throws the tissue paper in the dustbin after using it. Their driver moves to the dustbin, where she has thrown tissue paper. He throws some sauce on tissue paper and shows it to his lady owner. In such a way that her lady owner believes his words that her maid is suffering from tuberculosis. Then the lady owner requests the driver to keep it a secret with his sir as he will get angry. Later they also dismiss the maid. And their driver introduces her wife as a cook to them. Finally, his wife is also hired. Now all the four are serving in a single family and no one doubts about it. They were living there under a guise of deception, using fictitious names. There is now a change in their condition. Their situation improves. They are getting good pay with consistent food. Park family decides to go on a picnic on the birthday of Dasan. After their departure, they all start celebrating and enjoying a party. Suddenly, the doorbell rings. And the ex-maid is seen on the doorstep. She says, my luggage has left here which I want to take. Chung Sook allows her to come inside, and she steps to the basement. That lady does not return even after much time has passed. Later Chung Sook goes to check her. She is seen pushing a cupboard that looks unmovable because a plate was stuck there. Chung Sook removes that plate resulting in the movement of the cupboard. There we see a secret way under that cupboard. This maid goes there and we see a male who is actually her husband. She has hidden him here for the last four and a half years. Park family is unaware of it. Because the previous family who lived in this house did not tell them about this place. And this lady knows everything about the secret way because she was working here for a long time. She has hidden her husband here because he is under huge debt. He will be killed if he does not pay it. Then that maid requests Chung Sook to serve food to his husband once a week, as a refrigerator is also available at this place. Ex maid also promises to pay for the service. Chung Sook refuses and threatens to call the police. On it, that lady pleads Chung Sook very much. And Chung Sook's family were hearing everything standing on stairs. One of them stumbles and all of them fall before them. Seeing it, X Maid records a video in which Ki Wu says my father, my foot. Now she knows that they are a family and they have got this job trickily. She threatens to send this video to the lady owner of this house but Chung Sook starts pleading with her. She brings her husband to the ground floor. Later she orders them to stand and put their hands up. As they stand up, she also makes another video of them and their party table. Now, they all four attack on that husband and wife and delete that video, by snatching that mobile. A quarrel is being held among them, suddenly the phone bell rings. Chung Sook picks up the phone and the lady owner is on the call. She tells that trip is cancelled because of the heavy rain and they are returning back within 8 minutes and she asks her to cook food. And they have to manage everything within 8 minutes in the house. During the call, they have placed their hand on the mouth of husband and wife. Afterwards, they leave husband and wife in the basement fastening them and then begin to clean the house. And the family returns home after exact 8 minutes. They manage to clean the house. The Park family can't doubt what has happened before their arrival. And the three of them hide. While taking food, the lady owner tells Chung Sook that, once when my son woke up on his birthday night, he had seen a ghost. But he is not a ghost but the husband of ex-maid. But they assume him as a ghost. While it is raining, their son Da Song insists to sleep outside at night and he camps there. Da Song's father and mother sleep in the hall room so that they may keep an eye on him. They are both talking with each other lying on the sofa, while Ki Wu, Ki Chung and Ki Tech are hidden under the sofa. The owner of the house is telling to her wife that he smells an unbearable odor from his driver Ki Tech. He is speaking the truth because their living place is a waste area so their all family members emanate a bad odor from their bodies and clothes. And they are hearing the whole conversation. They feel bad because Da Song had once said that, my teacher emanates the same odor which comes from the driver and the maid. Then they think to change their towel and soap, but this odor comes from their house not from their body. And when they both sleep, they all come to their house. But it is raining heavily. They find their house filled with water when they reach their house. All water comes inside because of the opening of the window. And this place is not worth living. Then they go to an area where most people are sleeping. And they spend their night at that place. Ki Chung receives a call from the lady owner, who invites her to Da Song's birthday party so that he feels very happy. 
and she also invites her daughter's tutor Ki Wu. Then she goes to the market for shopping. And while sitting in the car, a strange odor comes from her driver so she places her hand over her nose. On it, the driver is very displeased by this reaction. Because he does not want such behavior from the people. His lady owner does not want to react like that, but she has to do. While party is being held, Ki Wu and his student De Hei is upstairs. And Ki Wu asks her, do you think we are among one of them? On it, she says yes by nodding. But they are not among them. And he thinks if the people of the basement come up, the whole secret will be revealed. And they have to lose their job. Thinking about it, he brings the stone given by his friend. Taking this stone, he goes to the basement to the place of the maid and her husband. Actually, the housemaid died one night before itself. Because when they are taking them to the basement, she tries to run upstairs. But, Chung Sook kicks her, consequently, she falls down and dies. All four family members are unaware of it. Ki Wu reaches into the basement taking that stone in his hand. The stone falls down from his hand, but he cleverly picks up that stone. He had come there to kill both of them. So that their secret never reveals. Because he can take any risk for the safety of his family. He proceeds gradually. Maid's husband who is free now, drags Ki Wu by wrapping the rope around his neck and binds that rope at a place. He lifts the same stone and when he was about to hit Ki Wu, he runs from there. He runs from there but falls near the basement. The maid's husband returns back and injures him badly. He reaches the party place and looks at Ki Chung, who is going to Dasong holding a cake. He immediately recognizes her. He stabs her on the chest with a knife wounding her. Ki Chung's father presses her wound in order to decrease the blood flow. But her wound is very deep. Chung Suk sees that he has attacked her daughter and moves towards him. There is a bitter quarrel between them. And Chung Suk kills that man during the fight. Now the house owner wants to take his key which is under the dead person's body. While taking that key, he feels bad odor and places his hand on his mouth. When his driver observes him doing like that, his facial expressions change. He gets very furious and stabs his owner with a knife. Key Tech kills him because, owner wanted the key, so that he may take his unconscious son to the hospital. Ignoring Key Tech's daughter who is also dying. But he doesn't care about her. Key Tech looks at his owner, surprised. He gets angry while he places his hand on his nose while taking the key from the dead body. Because his body also stinks in the same way as that person's, and he associates himself with that person. He now realizes that such people despise them. He attacks him because of his intolerant behavior. Afterwards that driver gets disappeared. Ki Chung is no more, but Ki Wu is recovered but faces some mental disorders. Then that mother and son are convicted of deception, fraud and conspiracy. But the court releases them with no penalty just giving instructions. Park family sells their house to a German family. While they don't know the history of that house. And driver Ki Tech is still present in the basement. Because he hides there after killing his owner. And no one knows about it. He conveys messages in the Morse code by flickering light, so that his family thinks he is alive under the basement. Morse code is used to make communication between two persons. It has the facility to send messages to others. He sends the message through flickering light by clicking it on and off in different times. He transmits signals to his son. His son Ki Wu observes signals through binocular from a distance. He decodes the received code and knows that his father is still alive in the same basement. And he regrets his act of killing the Park family's owner. He apologizes by going before his photo. Ki Wu says, I will earn a lot of money and we will purchase that same